Hi, welcome back to this new tutorial. Here I'll be showing you how to do a directional dodge by dodging in the way the player is going. So if I show you what I mean, okay, if I move in this direction, my character dodges forwards, and then if I move in this direction, he dodges this way, he can dodge this way, and he can dodge this way. I've also set a timer so that the character can only dodge every two seconds. So if I show you how this is done, okay, so we're using the input variables here, we're using the input from the player and these get forward vectors and that which are all just plugged into here. Okay so what we want to do is we want to check if our dodge variable can dodge, can they dodge, is true. If it is true then they're allowed to dodge. Okay and we create a new launch velocity by taking the position they're moving forwards in and multiplying it by 2500 and their forward vector so we get their input speed and the way they're going, multiply that together. We do the same with whether they're going left or right. So multiply that together, multiply the input move right or left by 2500. Multiply these and add them together so that we get a burst speed in the direction the character is facing. From here, we're setting dodge to false so that the character can't dodge straight away and just keep spamming the dodge button. And then we're setting this timer which lasts two seconds and calls this function which just sets dodge back to true. So let's get straight into it. Okay so in my third person blueprint I'm going to open up my third person character and go to the event graph here. From here I'm going to set up a button, I'm going to use a V and this is where everything's going to come off from. So like I showed before we had a variable and that variable was can dodge and we want to click compile and set can dodge to true and compile again. Now you need to compile before you can change its default value to true. And then what we can do here is already add our function and we can just do reset dodge set dodge to true. So we've done our function, that was simple. Now back to the event graph. So. I only want to do it on release, so what I want first is my branch, so hold B and left click. On release I want to check if I can dodge, so I'm just going to drag that in and click get. If I can dodge then I want to launch character. And I want to override both these values just to make sure my character moves in the direction I am going. And then from here set can dodge to false and then I'm going to set my timer. Function name reset dodge. I'm going to have it on two seconds again and I don't want it to loop. Okay so that's the actual thing set up right here. Now what we need to do is just calculate our velocity. So as I said before what we need to do is get the speed of the movement they're going and then we want to multiply that more to get a faster dash in a direction. So I'm going to drag off of here and I'm going to do multiply float by float and multiply it by 2500. And I'm just going to copy and paste this and get the move right and drag that in so that both of these multiply by 2500 of their input speeds. So from here, we want to multiply these again. So we want a float multiplied by a vector. And get the get right vector and plug this into the top. And this will multiply the direction the character is going in for sideways, left, right, multiplied by the input speed. And if we just copy and paste this vector float and do the same over here, get our forward vector so we can times the direction of forwards slash backwards they're going in in the world and then what we want is to just add these two vectors together plug them in and that's our launch velocity now if I compile and press V as you can see my character launches forwards now he does the jump animation because he is increasing in the Z velocity which automatically will make him start the falling animation. Now the thing is our character is already moving so we're actually kind of slowing down this dash. So the easy way to fix this 
is to do this. I want to get velocity, target is actor, and from here I just want another vector add vector, so just copy and paste that, add this in, add these together, and set up our launch velocity, and now the speed our character is moving is taken into consideration as well. Okay, so that's a very simple way to create a dash in the way the player is facing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, a thumbs down if you didn't. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions or advice, just leave it in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye.